remember way back when, six, seven, maybe even eight months ago, I only used to post countdown gameplay, or even when Squad Slayer was even a thing? Um, yeah, that's kind of what this is. So if you guys are new to watching me, what's going on? My name is Avito, bringing you guys a Halo Reach gameplay commentary. It's been a while, little while since I posted on my own channel. It's just mainly because school, books, homework, you name it, social life is kind of getting in the way of my inner nerd. And it's just getting kind of hard to keep up with the whole YouTube and keep up with the whole school and work thing. Um, school is starting to get a little bit harder. Um, I'm a junior in high school. I guess that's a little bit more of an introductory about myself. Um... And if you are new to watch me, I mostly post Halo on my own channel with a little bit of Call of Duty and Gears of War. Um, in the mix here and there, just a bit of random videos, but I'm mainly a Halo console player. Um, and the reason why I got a little bit more specific there, the Halo console player kind of thing is... Um, this may sound a little bit familiar, but if you guys have watched BBK Dragoon's Perfection on Prisoner, yes, I was in that game. Um, you know, th things just haven't really been the same on console. Now... I don't know if I'm just not enjoying console anymore, and actually, let me just get this off my chest. I love console. I wouldn't have three of them if I didn't enjoy console, and I wouldn't play, uh, have Halo in my disc tray as the preferred game of choice when I turn my Xbox on if I didn't have some form of uh, some form of love for Halo or the console. But just PC games have been where my heart's uh, is where my heart has been at over the last few months. Um, mainly summer is where I found my main love. Of League of Legends and then just console, not console games, of uh, PC games, kind of just followed it. Um, I'm really big into League of Legends. I've just recently rediscovered StarCraft 2, which is the most competitive game, in my opinion, um, on just really anywhere. Now, I am only a level 98 bronze. I might even level be 99 now because I haven't played, I didn't play yesterday in the ladder. Um, I'm not almost platinum like a few others that I know. But I am not good at StarCraft 2, but I love playing it, mainly because the more I play, the more I learn. Uh, more cheeses I learn, the more builds I learn. Um, I play Zerg, so they're really more of a reactant race, according to all the pros, like Filter StarCraft, Husky StarCraft, um, all these other guys. Um, and I don't, know, I don't even know why I like StarCraft 2 so much, or even League of Legends as much as I do. Um, compared to six, seven, eight months ago when I started posting all these countdown gameplays, I was just in love with Halo. Um, as I said earlier, I love Halo, I love console, I wouldn't be posting Halo, I wouldn't be a Halo channel if I still didn't have some form of love for this game or this franchise. Um, so ever since, let's say around August, maybe early September kind of region, I really started playing into Halo 3 again, uh, mainly just to play Halo 4, or not to play Halo 4, to get in preparation for Halo 4, I'm sorry for that weird pronunciation. But I really wanted to start getting into the habit of, you know, using the BR, um, trying to get my four shots down, trying to prepare for Halo 4, basically. But, you know, that game is not perfect. All this, A lot of the spawns are messed up. Like, for example, Team Slayer on Narrows. Spawn switch way too much in that game. Um, I know I'm kind of kind of being a little bit of a dick here, <laughs> kind of going past uh, one of my favorite games of all time. But... I just feel like there isn't really as much integrity in console gaming as there is in PC gaming. Now, I'm not saying that there's more mature players on PC. It's just I have a feeling more uh, PC players have the idea of, yes, this game is hard. I know where you've been. GLHF, GG, let's go. You never really hear that in console gaming. Now, whether it be Halo or Call of Duty or Gears of War or whatever shooter or really any competitive uh, console game you play, you don't really run into people who have a mic and say, good luck, have fun, or good game, or really anything that says, hey, I acknowledge what you tried to do, I just happen to be the better player today. And that's just what I feel a lot of what PC games have, um, especially in games where the skill gap is so apparent that it's almost ridiculous to think on how much you have to play to even get to that level of skill that the uh, of the person who beats you. Now, for example, uh, I played my five placement matches in League of Legends. I am not good at all. I have said that earlier. But playing as Zerg, I was trying to go for a two-minute spawn pool um, and try and get some roaches out. Uh, you guys are probably thinking, what the heck is a roach? What the heck is a spawn pool? Pretty much, uh, a spawn pool is my ammunition and my roaches are my bullets. 
So I tried getting that done, and the thing is with StarCraft, it's so timing based. It's super hard um, to understand. There's a lot of cheese in the game. What I mean by cheese, like pretty much anything under 10 minutes is a cheese, or anything under 7 minutes is a cheese. Um, and that pretty much means they kill you uh, before 7 minutes, and really before they give you any sort of chance to kind of put up a fight. So they kind of, you know, they get it over with, so, you know, they don't have to play anymore. They can just move on to the next game of the ladder. So, and there's a whole bunch of other cheese, and I just believe that, uh, you know, this, this game, or really console games in general, don't have that type of skill gap. For example, uh, Call of Duty, you can just pick up a SCAR or a UMP45, run around with a silencer and maybe like uh, like Stalker Pro or something like that, or Commando Pro, and do perfectly fine probably your first match. Um, it's kind of the same thing goes around with Halo. Um, there's a little bit more of a skill gap in Halo, but really if, uh, for example, this map is a, is a great example because it's just sword and shotgun. As you see, I go to town with a shotgun. If you have a shotgun and you have some somewhat of a depth perception then you're probably gonna get some kills at least um, a few other kills now I mean it just doesn't feel that like this game has that much uh, that much competitiveness as say like a League of Legends or a Starcraft now the way I see it um, Halo right now um, like Halo Reach Halo 3 does not meet up to standards of like MLG and stuff and like I know MLG uh, Dallas is gonna have Halo 4 but I played Halo 4 it's amazing it's an awesome game I think it's gonna be super duper competitive um, and I think it's really gonna bring the console market back into MLG now the three main games MLG has are uh, like you know fighting games it's got uh, StarCraft League of Legends those are the three games on the circuit and those are the three most competitive games and I have to play all three of them and it just doesn't feel like shooters really belong on the circuit at this level of play. It just doesn't feel like, um, you know, this doesn't need as much attention as, say, a game that can go one-on-one. -on -one. Now, 4-on-4 four -four MLG Halo is probably one of my favorite memories, especially in Halo 2. With Final Boss and T-Squared, or not T-Squared, um, uh, Straight Rippin'. Uh, T-Squared was on Straight Rippin', but, you know, it just doesn't feel like... You know, it kind of it doesn't really deserve to be in like this, M and MLG because of games like League of Legends, StarCraft, you know, fighting games. Um, so what, how I see it is that I think that uh, Halo or just consoles in general need to evolve, sort of meet up to the standards of League of Legends and StarCraft because a lot of people on console play this game so much, so long, like seven, eight, nine hours at a time, and they will defend their this game to the death. Um, and they have the they have the right to do that. That's perfectly fine. Some people, will even hardcore fans, will even say, you know, the standards of StarCraft and League of Legends need to come down. Which I really just think that Halo or console in general needs to, you know, kind of catch up a little bit. So I've already gone over this video. I'll probably have like a clip or something to fill in this void. So I know I was kind of scramble brain, a little bit rambly, but I think I got. Uh, I think I got to the point in the time frame I had. So if you guys like the video, all you gotta do is click the like button. It really means a lot. Uh, there's gonna be a little annotation in the video on the top left hand corner where you can just hit click to subscribe. That'd be amazing. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching one last time. My name's the video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.